Alright, hey, it's Adventure Ruler, and I'm just gonna talk to you guys for a little while. You know, show you some replays I recorded on while I was playing Smash, and I'm just gonna tell you why I made Mario and Sonic. Why I chose them, who did I mean before, who I mean after, who was the first character I ever chose, all my lineups, and all that goodness. Alrighty, let's jump in. So originally, I mained, like, like for, for the most part, I mained Cloud for a lot of the time when Smash 4 was out. And then, just not too long ago, like a month ago I guess, or two, I changed to Mario and Sonic, because th this was one of the reasons. And I, I like summed it down to like, to the smallest. I wrote like a, I wrote like a little script so to remind me what I'm talking about, so I don't forget the middle of talking. But I, I, I like narrowed it down. I changed to Mario and Sonic to just meaning them both, besides Cloud, because I'd rather have a great combo game, but for the most part struggle to kill, but I have a great recovery, than really safe attacks and safe kill moves. But recovering could be a big problem if you're fighting an opponent who's skilled in fighting the character you're using. That's one of the reasons. Because you have no idea how many times I've lost games or an entire stock at an early percent just because I used my second jump when I was off stage and my opponent hits me with one little move and I get pushed a few inches and miss grabbing the ledge. I never died from trying to combo someone, and but I don't fight a lot of Bayou, so it's different for me. So let's con let, let's just continue. When I first played Smash Four, ever, when the game was finally announced and they showed all the new characters that are coming out. No, no, no! Oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, cut that out! Cut that out! Cut that out! Cut that out! When I first played Smash, ever, the first Smash I ever played was Melee, because my brother, he actually had um, Smash for the N64, Smash for Melee, he got Brawl when it came out, and he got Smash 4 when it came out, because my brother was really into Smash Brothers growing up, and you gotta remember, I was a kid, so whenever I played Smash with my brother, I always lost. There was no time that I ever won. And if I did win, I got lucky or I spammed and my brother was just getting like, you know, too like, too angry and I just ended up like winning somehow without even realizing what I did. But anyways, yeah, my brother was actually who got me into video games and Smash Bros, so I guess I can thank him. But um, when I first played Smash ever, the first characters I would always choose are your favorites. When you play a video game, and your favorite video game character is in the game, you're gonna be him, if he's good or bad. You, you, it's it's just natural. You're gonna be the character that you like and you know the most, and you know a lot a lot about. And when you choose their stage, you're gonna be singing the song. You're gonna be like, oh my god, I know that place and all that stuff. The three characters that I would always choose, N in no order: Mario, Sonic, and Link. They're my favorite video game characters of all time. I have tons of Mario games, tons of Sonic the Hedgehog games, and tons of Legend of Zelda games. Clothes with them on it, toys of them, consoles that they're from. Literally, when I got a Switch in like, uh, like early November, the first games I got was Super Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, and Sonic Forces. I waited till all those three games came out so I can buy it all together. Thank god I had gift cards, cause all that together would have been half a grand, but... Like... Even my very popular series on my YouTube channel is starring them. And I got to voice them both. And I'm a little proud of that. You know what I'm talking about. Right... Cute Sonic heroes. But anyways... Now you know if you didn't know how much I love 
Mario, Sonic, and Zelda. So, let's get back to Smash. The reason I'm clarifying all this is because I don't want you to think I'm maining Mario and Sonic only because I'm a tier whore. Which I'm not. Honest truth, I swear to god, I just happen to love Sonic and Mario and Link. Outside of Smash Bros, they just happen to be really good characters in this game. So, in Smash 4, I actually don't choose Link that much. He was eventually just removed from my lineup because I didn't really notice, but he just, I just wasn't using him, so he just ended up leaving the, the lineup, you know, by, like naturally. But what I did notice is that he's very difficult to learn with different matchups and play styles and what you gotta do is what you gotta do with his projectiles and neutral and his combo games and his kill setups you can't really spam boomerang and arrow and bomb over and over a hundred times in a row and then hit them with an f tilt or like up smash or down smash and then just expect to win unless you're playing with lag and your opponent sucks or keeps miss inputting his punishes but the main thing is what link can't do I think is is really fight the way I want to fight I don't feel right when I play because my fighting style is like I'm looking for a character who's you know who's fast on their feet you know what I mean like not they don't have to be absurd absurdly fast but like you know where I can go around the stage and have freedom to move wherever I want at a fast pace and I want a character that can play defensive but also play really offensive because that's that's how I play I switch from one and the other as the game plays out I don't know if you might get it but I, I'll explain so basically if I want to be in your face and read and punish every one of your options you're throwing out because you're panicking because of the aggression I'm putting you on you or your shield. I want to be able to do that with my character. Because that's that's how I play. And then if I'm at like a high percent and you're at a low percent or yours is high as well and it comes to a last stock, last hit situation. That's why Sonic and Mario are perfect for me because as a mix-up, Sonic can run past you so quick it could throw you off or like scare you kind of. Or I can spin dash cancel or footsies in neutral. Because Sonic is really fast, so it's kind of like dash dancing from melee. And if I'm Mario, I can keep throwing out fireballs and force you to approach. Or get you impatient. And I could run up, fade away back air on your shield to make you approach. Or flood you to get like stage advantage. Because flood can still like kind of push you when you're in shield and that's awesome. Mario and Sonic can make you overextend, and that's when I can strike once you're open. That's why I, I that's why I made this cloud for a long time because charging limit is like playing defensive. It you don't have to do anything. It's it's up to your opponent to you know to decide what they want to do if you are just standing by somewhere charging limit, and that's great because that forces your opponent to do two things. One, the smart thing which is pressure you, so you would, e you would either have to shield or fight back. Because if you keep shielding, they're gonna grab you. Or your opponent lets you charge, which is a very bad idea. Because your opponent is basically like going to a store, buying you safe kill moves, giving it to you, and now they can't punish you if you ever whip that out during the match. Like, don't let clouds charge, ever. Like, uh, like obviously if you're off stage, like don't like, don't let them scare you. Just come back to the stage, because sometimes like clouds could charge and then just like, by surprise, cancel it because all they all they have to do is press B, and they run off spike. So be careful. Just never let cloud charge. But um, yeah, that's that's what I would do with Cloud when I'm playing defensively. And Cloud, again, he's very fast, he's decently strong, and he has range. So if I'm playing offensive, if you're if you're shielding, I'll grab you, throw you off stage, charge. 
Or if you want to choose an aggressive option when I'm being aggressive, I can just throw out a move because Cloud's range is ridiculous. <laughs> and that's, that's how I would play with Cloud. But the big problem I have with Cloud is that he has something similar to Little Mac. And that is limited recovery options. A skilled player who has fought their fair share of clouds and Little Macs know exactly what to do when fighting them. And if they succeed on like covering your like your your weakness, basically what your weakness is, because you can't do anything about it. If your opponent I mean if your character has a weakness, it's up to you to make sure that like your opponent doesn't cover that. Because then you just lose. Because if they succeed on like figuring like figuring out your weakness and always going at it, you'll lose stocks left and right, no problem. But that's why maining me maining Mario and Sonic are perfect for me. Because I'll be honest, there's nothing too complicated about using them. I mean, I don't know why that's a bad thing though. But this gives my brain only one thing to work on, and that is focusing on beating you. Learning how, like the opponent, learning how my opponent fights, what my opponent does in certain situations when I would do stuff in neutral, who my opponent goes, does, does my opponent have trouble uh, keeping composure and all that stuff. I, I'm, I'm starting to like trying to like think about all that stuff because that can really help me when I'm facing anybody that's really good in Smash Bros. So all I would have to worry about is using my abilities and work my fighting style around my opponent. Or depending on what character they are or the situation we're in, make my opponent work around my playstyle. And having a great recovery helps too, so I don't have to worry about dying from three moves at 0%. <clears throat> One thing... This is like a funny way to like look at my lineup. Mario is sort of like my greeter to like my little Smash Bros party. He's like my level 1. When I play Smash, he's like my first go-to against any character or any opponent if I never fought you before. I'm getting warmed up, or I'm just trying to, you know, just figure out how you fight. And then next game, I'll either stay the same or change. The thing is, my Mario... He's decent, he's alright, but... What I'm trying to say is... If Mario doesn't work out, basically, in game one... I'll change to Sonic. If I almost trash you... And I want to make sure I stand my ground or make sure I don't give you a chance to somehow bring it back. Then I'll change to Sonic. But... But the thing is, I, I don't really change that often. So you don't have to worry about me, like, constantly counterpicking. Because if, if it's to win, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to win. Obviously, in a fair way. And under the, the rules and regulations. Like, when I mean do anything to win, I'm not saying when both of you are at 120, like, take his controller and check it across the room and then just run over them and up smash. And so, like, you know, fair, like, what can you do to win under the right circumstances, basically what I'm trying to say. But that's, that's what I'm saying, if I'm trying to win, then I'll most likely change to Sonic if Mario is having trouble or we were sort of like like really tied and I'm not confident in staying Mario I think I'd be more comfortable comfortable choosing Sonic I think I'll have a better chance then I'll change to Sonic but you don't have to worry because I don't I don't really change my character much please ignore the noise uh, there's people upstairs and I live in an apartment now <clears throat> But, um, what's the next thing I'm gonna say? Oh, that's right! 
Now that I don't main Cloud anymore... <laughs> now that I don't main Cloud anymore, and I just main Mario and Sonic... This means... I still use Cloud, but he's not my main or my lineup. I have a pocket Cloud. But don't be surprised or pissed. Because who, who does it nowadays? If you play Smash competitively, you either know how to use Cloud or Bayo. Like, you have either of those characters. You know how to use them. And why not? It's the best of both worlds. You have a handsome young man with a big, long shaft. Or a sexy witch that can kill you in seconds if you rub her the wrong way. There you have it. But personally... Main and Cloud is very hard today. Because almost... Everyone knows the Cloud matchup like the back of their hand. Because when Cloud came out, till today, people all over the world are using Cloud. Like they don't main him or pocket him or whatever. But everyone knows how to fight Cloud by now if you play Smash competitively. <clears throat> but I guess you can say my Cloud is like my level 3. No, no, no. Like Cloud is like my level 2 2. 2-2. Or maybe I'll call it like my secret final boss. Like you won't really meet him or see him too often unless we're having fun. But once I do whip him out, he could be a challenge. Especially if I'm feeling myself because I do some crazy stuff when I'm cloud. Like I, you'll be spiked in like minutes, in less than two minutes if I'm on a streak. But um... Ever since I went back to maining Mario and Sonic, like, I'm like, you know what? I'm comfortable with these two. They don't have many weaknesses. I'm not the best with them. I'm not perfect. But I can train and practice with them and become really good with them. But you know what's crazy? When Smash 4 came out, the first character I ever mained, even before the game came out, like, there was only trailers. Little Mac. Little Mac was actually the first character I ever made in Smash 4. When Smash 4 came in, I'm not talking about the other Smash games, because obviously he wasn't out then. <sighs> I actually made a Little Mac. Then someone threw me off stage. I hate to admit it, but the character gave me, like, oh, it was air game. The character gave me way too many problems that I just didn't know how to how to avoid or deal with. And I'm I'm very good at keeping my composure. I'd say I'm a happy and chill dude that gets angry very rarely. That's just how I am. That's that's how I am and that's how I want to be seen. I take problems on the chin. I just like making people laugh or be in a positive mood. But everybody's got a breaking point. Even me. I hate to admit it, but even me. Ev everyone has a breaking point. My me, my friends and family know that. They've seen the best and worst of me. That's that's just how it is. Your closest people just know... Have seen all parts of you. <clears throat> Not rich people. They have no problems. But... I've just had it so much with Little Mac that it's it's like crazy i get thrown in that literally could be my 50 50 getting thrown off stage like you you either die or you pray to god or you thank god that you actually grab that ledge like that's how like stupid it is but because of that i actually stopped using little mac altogether completely I actually I don't use Little Mac at all anymore, and it's a little sad actually. But things happen. But um, after I stopped using Little Mac, I didn't really have like any, you know, I wasn't really feeling anybody at the time, and I don't know why I didn't look up how to use characters at that time. I just didn't know. I kind of just reacted like a computer would like if you fought a level 9 computer anything you do they would just react and they wouldn't they don't think like if you keep spamming they're not gonna be like oh let me let me perfect shield to keep walking up to you no they they're gonna dodge 
Oh, get hit. That didn't work. All right, let me run before he shoots another. Oh, I got hit again. Let me let me dodge back. He keeps hitting me, and then he just that just keeps looping. Like if if you play Smash right four right now, fight a level nine. Choose Cloud, and put a Ganon as the computer, and just press B over and over and over and over. Keep blade beaming and don't stop. The Ganondorf will never touch you. Ganondorf will keep getting hit by the blade beams. Like, it's, it's like broken. It's like, oh my god, like, Nintendo does all these patches, but they don't fix, like, the CPUs. Like, I don't know, it's just something little. Just a pet peeve of mine. But, um, after I stopped using Little Mac, I kind of just went back to Mario and Sonic. Not really, like, you know, just like if I fight anybody online, I just go Mario because, you know, I'm comfortable winning or losing with him, and I, most of the time I would win. But, um, and, uh, like, same with like, like, them three just, just came back to my lineup, and I just mained all three again. But then, Cloud came out. I saw the trailer, and everybody's reactions, and I was actually pretty hyped. I was, when I first saw the trailer, I was planning to add him to the lineup, and that's it. But then when he came out, and I bought him, I ended up choosing him every day and no one else. It just naturally happened. I just mained Cloud. Solo mained Cloud. My Sonic and Mario and Link, like, they, n none of the characters only chose Cloud every game, every day. Every time I played Smash, I chose Cloud instantly. Winning or losing, I would still choose Cloud. And then as, you know, as the months went by, I picked up uh, Ike, and I noticed that when I spaced, and when I learned the combos, and the fundamentals, I, st I was just bodying people for glory. I'm like, oh my god, this up throw, up air, 50-50, literally wins me the game almost every time for some reason people never want to jump away when that's the safest option ever if you're above someone but i don't know but that's what happened too i just just naturally became my secondary without even noticing so then <clears throat> so then it's it was first it was little mac then it was mario sonic and link and then it was cloud and ike but, something I realized was, Mario and Sonic never left my side, even when I was younger. Now I noticed, I don't know why I didn't before, because I, I, I never really looked at tier lists or believed in tier lists, and I, I kind of still don't, because I, I truly believe that every character could win a tournament, a major. As long as, you, you know, you, because I, I, I know tier lists are made up of how easy it is to win with the character, but I truly believe that every character can win with against any character. That's just how I think. But, um, <clears throat> Mario and Sonic have always been good since Smash 4 came out till today. All the buffs, all the nerfs, all the patches, they're still good. The problem why I never mained them seriously was because I never knew how to play them. Cloud was the only character that I picked up and that was, the, when Cloud came out, that's when I started looking up tournaments. You know, you know what I mean, like professional clouds. Cloud's frame data, like, that was when I actually started getting into competitive Smash. Like, and then when I, I figured out how easy it was to, like, kill with him with Limit Claw Slash and not be punished afterwards, like, that was just amazing. And, as, like... And then I noticed, like, I was so devoted to Cloud that after everybody found out that Uppy, that Cloud's Uppy is trash, that if you Uppy and you hit him, the character just, he wasn't programmed to tech. So 
pray that they don't come down to hit you. Because if they do, put down the controller because you're, you're dead. You can't tap. And when everybody realized that he couldn't auto snap the ledge, everybody had no choice but to learn how to like recover in different ways. You can't recover just normally. Jump up be next to the ledge with your head popping up. No, you don't give your opponent a chance to down tilt, jab, F tilt, F smash, cause you will die. If you don't die from the wall, like from the side of the wall, you like cause you can't reach, basically. And then when everybody started taking advantage of how easy it is to edge guard him, and how limited his recovery options are. Like, it, it's honestly getting harder to be, choose Cloud and win. If you're fighting, like, players who know how to fight Cloud. Like, if you win with Cloud against somebody super easily, they don't know the matchup very well. That's basically it, because I've died lots of times. I'm getting edge guarded. Like, I look at all my replays that I save and, like, uh, I lose. Every time I lose, it's because I'm getting edge guarded. But then again, I, I, I understand why. It's to balance him. He's a really good character. He has, he has great range. He has safe kill moves. Like, that already is scary. Imagine always being able to, well not always, because you have to charge limit. But imagine every time you charge limit, you could just run up, limit cross hash, and if it didn't work, run away and just charge it again. And then just get it again after seven seconds. I like guess crazy. So I, I understand why they made Cloud Recovery almost the worst in the game. So, I understand, but... That's the same thing with Little Mac. The recovery thing just was. I just need really nothing that you can do. And eventually, like, you just get fed up and you're just like, how about if I just don't choose him and then I'll have, I don't have to worry about upbeats or recovering? It's as simple as that. But, um. Anyways. Whoa. Oh, I forgot to add this. One thing I'll never forget. And oh, I mean, I, I, now I really won't forget because I'm saying it in a YouTube video. But my cousin Tristan taught me Mario's back air is safe, and he has a down throw to anything. Right, 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 right. And Sonic has combos out of spin dash, and he can spin dash cancel. So I'm not gonna lie. Not only. I started mating them because they're just my favorite characters, but once I learned that, I was like, oh my god, this makes fighting so much easier. That was a day I started truly maining Sonic and Mario, almost permanently, again. Thanks for watching, guys.